life have such things, you know. <laughs> I feel a bit like a robot, I don't know what <laughs> I don't hear a difference, do you? <laughs> the first thing is I'm, I'm a local, you know, and it is wonderful to have so many young people here, not only just here, but in the home surrounding. You must excuse some of my English, perhaps. It, is a, it seems to be good, but I have only a few words. I will sometimes ask in Swedish or German, what is this or that? Yeah. I don't know uh, if there is on the, uh, on the table, what should this, what is this about, this uh, lecture? On the table. <laughs> I really don't know. There, is there again something about playfulness or not? I saw all, all, all there were titles of all things, but I didn't look at this title. Is it the title or not? I think you can just I make a title. Huh? You can just make a title. Uh, there were a this question about the school, about uh, intuitive pedagogy, and uh, my own. I want to talk about me and you, of course. And uh, that will be about the same, all these things, I will try. Um, when I was as young as most of you, uh, you were not born, I'm 76. <laughs> And when you will be as old as I am, I will only be unborn. <laughs> but we will be together, especially when we are not here, we are together. I, I will tell a lot of things very uh, rapid, so like this. Uh, be, be observant, it will be a bit like... <laughs> When there are contradictions in some way about anthroposophy or what you know or not know, what you, and then ask, just into now, you can ask anytime when I'm talking, stop me and ask. It's better for me too, I don't like to go on and afterwards remember again. <laughs> and, very pretentious uh, concept. It, it is quite clear that it is not about uh, intuition in, uh, in all day language. I do something, I don't know why, but it fits. It's, that's not what I talk about when we talk about intuitive pedagogy. It's a little bit more connected with a, with a difficult thing. You know that some of you know that in the spiritual world uh, you can you talk about thinking, about feeling, about will, and uh, the, the deepest level of, of uh, exercising is just the will, and that is about intuition. And of course, we don't think people who go to this schooling, this education in to teacher away. After that they are clairvoyant or something. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> but uh, what it is when everyone sometimes discovers that what they do is just just right. That is, uh, then intuition was there. We normally not know, we don't feel, now I need intuition to try to do. That could never be intuition if we think we can feel something special or have a kind of, uh, now I, I, I try this and that is then intuition. No, never. We don't know. You cannot know. If you can exercise, so that that happens more and more, that things are in order. Not 
comfortable. I don't say things are comfortable, it's the opposite. Intuition leads us very often to things we didn't uh, expect at all. And mostly such things are uncomfortable. Most good things are uncomfortable. You know it afterwards. Uh, therefore, uh, many uh, exercises in this intuitive schooling is um, just about the body, about what you are, this you have here. You know all, you are no one says uh, to this, me. No, you are all saying my body, all language. Uh, I think there is no culture on earth they ever said me and men their body. And that's interesting that we have if we talk about this we say my body, my legs, my my body. And when I say me, I mean something else, of course. And that is always double. Everything is like that. This me is of course important. Much more important than this my body. But that's also the opposite. Nothing is older and more precise, constructed than, than our body. It is a remarkable thing, much more developed than anything higher or more spiritual. Our spiritual being is very small, very tiny, very like a baby. But our body is not a baby. It's a very wise uh, thing. And we have to take care of it. And when we go into this very wise thing and try to understand what it tells, how it reacts, what it is like, that is an interesting thing just because a kind of a baby shall try to be a master of this very old thing. That is, it's good to think about that. It's a very interesting thing to take care of. A baby shall take care of something very wise and wise. Uh, I feel when I now said I will talk about me and about you, it's, it's, I feel very happy about it, but also very uncomfortable. <coughs> and not uncomfortable because I want to be young again or like that. I, I don't. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> But I think uh, a difference, an interesting difference. So many things happened between my childhood and now, and also between your childhood and my childhood. So very many things. The whole world is changed, and I really don't know. I, 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 I don't know who you are. I, I try, but I know, uh -huh, no, they are not like me. When I was young, this thing, no. My, uh, this uh, mobile, for instance. You can imagine, I, we, was, we were traveling <coughs> some eight hours, it was no problem. Uh, Twelve hours traveling, I couldn't have contact with anyone. What impossible, where no telephone or something, and a letter takes a week perhaps. And now, <coughs> most of you feel a bit. Uh, only if you have 8, 12 hours, no contact is possible. For me it's difficult to understand how it feels. That that is natural to always to have this thing. And can you do it? And then <laughs> <laughs> you have as I was I had to we had to plan very exactly or or take it like it is. Something will happen then. Okay. 